Chief Operations Officer at the small business lender iWalker, who compiled this list of cities. Uh, a very good morning to you. And also Francesca Maria, the owner uh, of Iprontu, which is uh, an Italian-based catering business in the city. Very warm welcome to both of you. Could I just say before we begin, <laughs> Glasgow is, without doubt, always has been one of my favourite cities in the world. So this comes as no, no surprise to me. I feel very at home at Glasgow uh, when I go there. But Seema, let me ask you this. Uh, also being from, from Belfast, we're always told you're at a huge disadvantage in terms of trading and business because you're in, you were on the periphery of Europe. And Glasgow, a very similar situation. So how does it work for Glasgow? <laughs> Yeah, thank you. So, yeah, I mean, we're delighted also to see Glasgow at the top of the list. Glasgow is a fantastic city. Um, what, what, we, uh, what we did um, in the study that we put together is we took data from the Office of National Statistics and ranked, um, scored each city against uh, some key criteria. Things like, um, so we scored them positively if they were a city that provided uh, um, employees with a short commute time, um, if there were low house prices, if there was strong job density, if there was um, positive growth in the small business market. Um, and if they scored highly against that, then they um, would come near the top of the list and Glasgow came right at the top. Um, yeah, I think there's, uh, so we, we know that small businesses really are the backbone of the economy. There's around, they're responsible for about two thirds of the jobs in the UK. Um, and yeah, it's no longer um, just a purely kind of London centric market anymore. Um, as you said, like London didn't, didn't feature highly. Yeah, well, you explained it straight away when you said commute time and house prices. That blows London out of the water straight away. And it means, I suppose, in a good way, as part of the levelling up era that we're living in, that lots of people wanting to start businesses are moving, I guess, out of the capital. Yeah, absolutely. We've seen that, I think, and particularly kind of with the crisis that we've seen over the last uh, the last couple of years and with the um, the rise of people kind of working from home or working remotely and still, you know, being being able to kind of commute to a big city, like we've seen a lot more regionalization and um you know people kind of moving into into new areas and, and starting businesses there. Well Francesca, let's talk to you and tell me Francesca about the the business uh, that that you that you have there because um there's a big Italian community. Historically there's a, a, a big Italian connection with Glasgow and church building and, and, also, and ice cream parlours and all sorts of things um, like that? Yes. Uh, hello. Indeed there is. But uh, uh, when we first uh, moved to Glasgow, it was uh, uh, eight years ago for my husband and seven years ago for the whole family. Basically, we came here as a, a friend told us, if you want to find a really, really friendly environment, go to Glasgow. People are wonderful. And that's it. So um, we started our business uh, after, um, not immediately when we arrived here, and uh, we had all the help that we were in need of, uh, particularly from the council and then from other organizations. So it's not been an easy journey but uh, not uh, much more complicated than necessary because everything was helpful. Then, of course, that means you have to work and work hard, but um, everything and the, the town, the environment in general is helping you to thrive. They do all the best they can. 